Good morning to all. Myself, Chandan Kumar Roy. Today we can discuss about the sequence of circuits. Sequential circuits. So, as you know that already in the previous combinational circuits. So, in the combinational circuits, what you are observing that there are inputs, outputs, and logic bits. But in the combinational circuits, what we can say here, we have input, we have input, combinational logic, combinational circuit, this is output, and we have a feedback. That is nothing but we can say that this is memory. Memory element. So this memory element given to the combinational circuits. So what we are observing in the sequential circuits, we have input, project input, we have previous outputs. This memory means here in this memory, the previous outputs are stored. So we can take the previous output from the memory and then we can apply to the combinational circuits that it gives as a present outputs. So that's what we can say that this is the sequential circuits. So sequential circuits are two circuits. Sequential circuits are classified into two circuits. One is synchronous. Synchronous sequential circuit. And second one is asynchronous. Asynchronous sequential circuits. What we can say? Sequential circuits are two circuits classified as a two circuits. Sequences. First one is synchronous sequential circuits, and second one is asynchronous sequential circuits. Then what is synchronous and what is asynchronous? First of all, we can talk about synchronous sequential circuits. We can say that in the, in the sequential circuit, when we can transition the data from one state to another state, or we can say that from one state to next state, then the transition of data from one state to another state, here, that data will be controlled by a clock signal. So, that is called syn uh, synchronous sequential circuits. If any, if we can transition the data from one state to next state, but it is not controlled by clock signal, then it is called as asynchronous circuits. So, in the asynchronous circuits, then how it will be work? So, at any time, input will be changes. At any time, input will be changes. So, we can discuss in the next class. So, if the input any time changes, and that's why in that place, we are using the one of the circuits that is uh, asynchronous that we can be used in the our uh, counter, uh, when we are going to counter, at the time we can see the asynchronous sequential circuits. So that is the basic of the sequential circuits. Now we can talk about the new concept in the sequential circuit is labs. What is labs? What is labs? That is the very very important thing. So we can say that in the labs, there are here two inverters. Suppose here one inverter, this is another inverter. So there are two inverter 1 and inverter 2. We are taking suppose the input x1 and x2 and we have the two state output q and q bar. So the what we can say that latch, latch is nothing but it is the one bit of information. It will store the one bit of information. So in the last.
So in the latch, what we uh, we what we say that in the latch, it has the two states, logic zero and logic one. So in that logic zero and logic one, we are applying as an input. So in the latch, we can say that it will store the one bit of information in the memory. So here. We are taking, we have, we are taking here two input x1 and x2, and we have two output q and q bar. Then how it will be one? So the output of q is connected to the input of second inverter, and output of q bar is connected to the input of first inverter. So what we are observing? The output q. Is given to the input of second inverter, and output Q bar is given to the input of first inverter. Then the operation will be comes. So there are two possibility states comes. So we can say that latch comes in the two states. Either we can take first one, we can talk about SR latch. SR latch. So SR latch can be. Express in terms of two way. First one, north based, north based SR latch, and second one, non based, non based SR latch. So there are two way. We are expressing north based SR latch and non based SR latch. Then you can see the very easy understanding. If you are going to north-east SR latch, then what we do? In place of inverter, we can give nor get. In place of inverter, what we can give? Nor get. So here we can keep as a nor get. So we are keeping here nor get. So in water one is nothing but nor gate one. In water two is nothing but nor gate two. Now you are taking here suppose x one and x two as the input. Then output is q and q bar. Then what we told you the output q bar is connected to the input of nor gate first and output q is second. Same operations. In place of inverter, we can keep here nor gate, or uh, if or if we can go to non gate, then we can keep here non gate. But operation is same. Then here the one thing is S R. S means we can say that set, and R means we set. Then how it will be work? You can see here we can take the operation. And then you can understand that here we have input, we have output, and then we have x1. What state occurs? Input we have x1 and x2. Output we have q. So in place of q we are keeping q n, and in place of q bar we are keeping as a q n plus one. And action we can take it. Action means that is nothing but state. So what state occurs? So first of all, suppose we are giving input as a zero zero. When you can give input as a zero zero. So when you are giving input as a zero zero, then the output Q and Q bar. Q means Q n and Q bar means Q n. So we can say that. When we are keeping the input as a zero zero, it means off condition. Zero zero means off condition. In that time, what will get the output? What are the output available in the systems? The same output we can get. It means we can say that Q n equal to we can get Q n value only, and Q n plus one equal to also Q n only. And this state is 
called as no changes. Nothing changed here. So, in the output, the present output, nothing changes. What are the previous output we have? Same output we got at the present output also. So, we can say that if we are taking 0, 0, then we got the previous output what we have given. Same output we are getting at the present output, that is given plus 1. So, there is no changes. Second stage. When you are going to second case, x1 is 0 and x2 is 1. Where x1 is 0 and x1 is 1, then in that case, what happens in the qn, the value will be 0. The value qn is equal to 0 and qn plus 1 is 1. So always remember, if qn is 0, then we can say that that is called recent what we can say that reset state when you can go to 1 0 when x1 is 1 x2 is 0 in that case qn is equal to 1 so qn equal to 1 and qn plus 1 equal to 0 so what we are observing here qn here x1 is 1 x2 is 0 but qn value is 1 hello and qn plus 1 is 0. So if qn equal to 1, then we can say that set state. Set state. And the last fourth operation is we are applying both 1 1. When we are applying both 1 1, then what we are observing at the same at a time, because of we are applying 1 1, input x1 is 1 x2 is 1. So at a time, both, both NOR gate is active. If both NOR gate is active, then there is no possibility to get the output. Which output will come first? In that case, we can say that this is the output is, we can say that this is, if, if the x1 is 0, 1 and the x2 is 1, in that case, QM value is both cases is possible. Either it will come 0 or 1. Or you can say that 1 or 0. It is both is possible. Either 0 or 1 or 1 or 0. That's why this case is called as invalid case. Or we can say that 4 region case. 4 region case or invalid case. So there is the, that's why I am telling, when we are going to 1-1, one, one, at the, at a time, the both operation will act. So there is no possibility both operation at a time. In that case, either it will take 1, if we can take qn equal to 1, then we do it qn plus 1 is 0. Or qn is equal to 0, then qn plus 1 is 1. That's why it is called as in or so this is the about the latch or you can say that log based latch. Is it clear?